story this morning. A local 18-year-old is shot and killed by police in Ferguson. Family members joined by protesters are demanding answers. News 4's Brittany Noble is live at Ferguson Police Headquarters where officers have indicated they could release some more information later today. Brittany. Well, Deanna, last night the Ferguson police chief told me that he planned to hold a news conference today. Now it's unclear if that's going to happen since the chief is waiting for confirmation from St. Louis County Police. County police are handling this investigation. Ferguson confirms they shot and killed a suspect. According to Mike Brown's mother, that suspect is her 18-year-old son. She said he was shot on Canfield Drive and left laying in the street for hours pictures all over social media. Brown is a 2014 graduate of Normandy High School and expected to start college in the fall. People are angry with police because they aren't releasing details of this case and the chief says he hates to see this going on in his city. It's absolutely tragic. It, it, it breaks my heart to see this community you know torn right now and you know it's going to be up to all of us together to, to, to bring it back together. You know we want to make sure that, that they trust us and that we can continue to provide uh, professional police service to them. I will continue to follow this case on air and online at KMOV.com. Live in Ferguson, Brittany Noble News 4. This was wrong and that was cold hearted. It was. Yep. 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 Cold hearted. That's the mother of Mike Brown. She says she wants answers, saying her son was walking to the store when the shooting happened. There was a near immediate backlash after the shooting with protesters gathering and chanting, no justice, no peace. Brown's mother says her son recently graduated from high school, planned to start taking classes at Vatterat College on Monday. We understand police have cell phone videos from several witnesses that will be part of the investigation. The shooting happened in the middle of the afternoon and dozens of people say they saw it happen. News Force Corey Stark has more from witnesses and relatives of the 18 year old who was killed. We wasn't causing any harm to nobody. Uh, we had no weapons on us at all. Dorian Johnson says he was walking home from a convenience store with his friend Mike Brown. They were walking on the street when a Ferguson police officer from his vehicle told the boys to get out of the street. Johnson says they kept walking, causing the officer to confront the boys, first from his car, then got out of the car, firing a shot. Johnson says him and Brown were scared and ran away from the officer. He shot again, and once my friend felt that shot, he turned around and he put his hands in the earth, and he started to get down, but the officer still approached with his weapon drawn, and he fired several more shots. No, 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 Instantly, no, no, hundreds no, gathered, angered, and saddened by what they call a complete overreaction by the officer. Now a family is demanding answers. You took my son away from me. You know how hard it was for me to get him to stay in school and graduate. You know how many black men graduate? Not many. Because you bring them down to this type of level where they feel like I don't got nothing to live for anyway. They're going to try to take me out anyway. The crowd became more angered, even someone firing shots. No one was hurt. Meanwhile, Brown's body laid in the street for hours. The shots that were being fired were very close to that scene. So we needed to make sure that the crime scene was safe. That's why we called for the additional uh, officers so that we could safely, without conflict, move everyone back far enough. Ferguson Police Chief Tom Jackson says the St. Louis County Police Department is handling the investigation into the officer shooting and says as standard procedure, the officer has been put on paid administrative leave. We do want this investigated fully, and that's why we asked for the outside help to do that. Corey Stark, News 4. I know he shot that child, and when he shot him, the little boy fell, and then he shot him six more times, and 
you know, the police was in the car. He left. They, I guess they made him leave, you know. So you're saying the, the officer... The officer who in, shot him left. So he the, left. So the officer was in the car when he... he, was, he was, she was in the car shooting the boy. He wasn't standing out. He was in the car. Because if he was rolling, he was driving, he ran over his feet. How else he was going to shoot him? He was still in the car. He was in the car shooting the boy. He was in the car shooting his boy. So what did the what did the boy do anything wrong? He, they, I don't die. They say he fucking took some out of quick trip. I don't care. He ain't no gun. He threw his hands up. When the police ran on his feet, the boy threw his hands up. He threw his hands up. He shot him. And the boy fell. Then he shot him some more. Okay. That's you. what happened. Thank you. Okay. I want everybody to know we got differing stories. The stories that the officers are telling Mr. Chief Belmar there, Ferguson County, totally different than the story that you hear from Dorian, Dorian Ferguson. Polar opposites, actually, because the officer says, the chief says his officer was attacked and that the young man tried to take the officer's gun. Our witness says, who was there with his friend, says they were just walking in the street. Argument ensued between officer and them, and the officer shot at him. Then gets out the car, proceed, no, didn't get out the car, proceeded to shoot from his car. Is that true? Is that true? Is that what happened? See, we need to find out. We need some dash cam footage. What do we got? I need dash cam footage because I don't believe that this young man is that Billy Badass that he's trying to get into a fight with an armed officer. I don't believe in that crazy. I mean, I know it's possible. All things are possible. Is it likely? They want us to believe that this young man tried to fight this officer and take his gun. That's standard operating procedures for killing a dude on the street. Can we kill a dude on the street? Yeah, just say you try to take your gun, you can kill him. That's standard operating procedures. Where you guys been? You don't know that's the standard talking point for killing your sons? You try to take my gun. I was scared of him. I don't believe it. Let me tell you something, folks. We got smartphone footage. Of the event, I want to know what happened. Because it sounds to me, if the story what Mr. Ferguson says is true, they executed this young man. Executed him. If it's true. I don't know if it's true or not. We need to find out. Don't we? And if we find out, if we get any footage that proves that this officer stood over this young man Because the young man didn't have a weapon. We know that, though. If we find out that this officer shot this young man while he had his hands up and continued shooting this young man, I want him off the force. No, 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 no. I don't just want him off the force. I want him in jail. Murder. That's what we need. That's what we're going to demand. So you ain't doing us a favor by giving us that. That's what we're going to demand as the public. See, that's my goal. That's my goal is to bring all of us together, galvanize everyone, all colors of people, all backgrounds, all levels. Together, common goal. I don't want just one type of audience. I want everybody because we want to be behind truth. Truth, that's what's going to unite us. The truth and what we're fighting for, which is justice, what we're fighting for. Our government back, what we fighting for? Safety, what we fighting for? Our children, what we fighting for? Our future, what we fighting for? Our freedom! So I want to give the, office, the officers an opportunity to further investigate. They've turned this over to the St. Louis Police Department for them to do their own independent investigation. The NAACP also will be conducting an investigation. I would like for Eric Holder to get up off his ass! and have an investigation done from the feds. It's cute how they're there with militarized vehicles. 
the type of vehicles we need in Afghanistan, not in our own communities. It's funny how they got dogs. They ready for a riot. And you want to tell me you think that's all just because this kid who just wanted to tussle with the cops. Now, I know that people like to say that some of our less wealthy individuals, what, what did Romney put at the, the 79? What, what percentage was that of us? 81%, 71%? I don't know. what it's, some, There's a large percentage of us who don't have money and means to that extent. And they like to say that we're stupid. Let me tell you something. Not many people are so stupid that they would get up in arms, burn up shit over nothing. I think they saw something today or yesterday. They saw something. They saw that young man get shot down. I want to know what's the deal. I'm Tim Black. Send it to me at Tim's Take 2 at gmail.com. Oh, man, I wish I could go to St. Louis. <laughs> if it turns out that this officer executed this young man, yeah. Do I really need to say anything else?